Hello and welcome back to the Villa View. We've got something new for you now, a new five part series. It's going to be a quiz. It's going to be me versus Dan, a bit like Mastermind. So this week I've got the specialist subject of the 2007 to 2008 season, whilst Dan has got to deal with the John Gregory era of Aston Villa. That's all that will come in, so stay tuned. So here's your first question, Dan. Aston Villa finished sixth under John Gregory in the 1999-2000 season. But what competition did Villa qualify for the, from that? Inter Toto Cup. Correct. What former Birmingham City player was in the reserves of Villa during the 1999-2000 season? Uh, Ridgewell. Wrong. Who did Aston Villa sign from Hapwell Haifa FC under John Gregory? Najwan Gorayev. Correct. Which former Warsaw player did Gregory let go in 2000? Neil Cutler. Wrong. What month did Gregory leave Aston Villa in 2002? Uh, February. Wrong. Oh, this is a nightmare. <laughs> Since managing Aston Villa, John Gregory has managed across the globe, but alongside Villa, Derby and Crawley, what other team in England did he manage? QPR. Correct. Name the player who featured under John Gregory and has connections to Villa now. Uh, Mark Devaner. Wrong. Who right. knocked us out in the League Cup in 1999 to 2000? Uh, Leicester. Yes. What was the official name for the League Cup that season? The Worthington Cup. Correct. Name Villa's two top goal scorers from the 1998 to 1999 season. Uh, Joe Chim and Dublin. Yeah. What month did Gregory win Manager of the Month in the 1998 to 1999 season? October. Wrong. Villa lost 4-1 at home to what side in their... Worst results of the 1998-1999 season? Coventry. Correct. Which famous Birmingham brand sponsored Villa in the 1999-2000 season? LDV Vans. Yeah. Villa had two kit makers under John Gregory. Name them. Reebok. Yeah. Deodora. Yeah. John Gregory relegated which side from the Premier League in 2001? Coventry. Yeah. What was unique about the 1999-2000 strip in comparison to any other season we have seen since for a Villa shirt? It was stripes. Correct. Villa were knocked out in the 2001-2002 UEFA Cup to NK Valdezidane. What country are they from? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Estonia. Wrong. Villa signed two Moroccans in the 2001-2002 sum window. Who were they? Hadji and Kashlul. Correct. Often referred to as Villa's worst ever signing, which striker did Villa sign, sign, sign the same summer? Uh, Bosco Badaban. Correct. Final question. In the match when we beat Arsenal 3-2 coming back from 2-0 down, what happened else on that day? Uh, Father Christmas hit the roof on his way down. <laughs> Correct. That was hard. <laughs> that was really hard. <laughs> Ready? Easy. Who won the Supporters Player of the Year that season? <laughs> Milner. Wrong. Who was our most expensive signing that summer? Oh dear. Rao Coker. Yeah. Who scored our first Premier League goal of that season? Avon Law. No, wrong. Who wore the number eight shirt that season? This is awful, Milner. Wrong. Wilfred Boomer scored once that season against her. Oh dear. Arsenal. Wrong. Oh wow. He was Newcastle. So, which former Villa keeper was in goal at the time? Shay Given. Yeah. Marlon Harewood scored five Premier League goals that season. How many games did he start? Ten. Wrong. <laughs> which player suggested Gareth Barry should join Liverpool and never played for the club again? <sighs> Pass. Who scored a direct free kick against Sunderland at the Stadium of Light for Villa? Nicky Shorey. Wrong. How many this goals? Is awful. Did, how many goals did Gabby score against Birmingham that season? Two. Correct. Who knocked Villa out of the League Cup in the third round? Millwall. Yeah, wrong. Who was Not our there. only January transfer window signing that season? Oh dear, this is embarrassing. Um, pass. Wrong. Who scored on their Villa debut that season in September against Chelsea? Um, Zach Knight. Yeah. Ashley Young received his first England call up that season, true or false? True. Yeah. Who played more that season, Stuart Taylor or Thomas Sorensen? Stuart Taylor. 
correct. Other than Gareth Barry, who was the other player to score a Premier League penalty for Villa that season? John Crew. Yeah. Where was Salah Fu signed from? <laughs> Zurich. Wrong. Grasshoppers. No, wrong. Olaf Melberg's final game for Villa came against who? What? Uh... Oh, I want to say West Ham. Yeah. yeah. Gary Cahill left to join Bolton that season. Which former West Brom manager took him there? Megson. Yeah. Who scored more league goals for Villa that season? John Carew or Gabby? Gabby. Wrong. <laughs> are, you sh- are you sure you were on a... You, you mean a different season? Because you were answering Milner <laughs> for a few and he didn't play for him that season. I didn't revise it. <laughs> I got the wrong season, I think. <laughs> That's awful. I'm embarrassed by that. Well, we we sort of checked the scores, and we can comfortably say that I did lose that. Um, Dan, you've won quite convincingly. It was never in doubt. It was what, what I expected. That's why I expected myself. I've got no excuse for that performance whatsoever. See the pressure. Pressure got to you. I think once you got the first one wrong, you panicked. Nightmare. I've got confused with the wrong season, I think, to be honest. But anyway, I've lost that challenge. We'll move on into next week. We'll go again. Thanks for joining me today, Dan. No worries. My pleasure. So that is all for today's video. It was sort of a bit humiliating. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure you're dropping us a like below and also subscribing to us for free. Remember, you have got that chance to win the pair of IT7 headphones as well at the moment. And also drop us a comment if you're watching our videos as well. And also go over to our social media channels to follow us as well. That's all for the Villa View this time. 